Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So this time around, we have quite a bit of stuff to talk about. Actually, the information came out about two weeks ago. But you know, since I was waiting for a brand new event to occur, which is right there on the screen, Giant Snorlax returning to the cafe once again for more yummy goodness. And you know, since the event is here, let's talk about what's going on in the world of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Well, technically in Japan. Because eh? the rest of the world <laughs> just has to sit back and wait for it to come. So, yeah, let's get through this uh, story that isn't exactly a story. We've seen it before. Once you've seen it once, you've seen it all. <laughs> so, yes. Um, they're still going through the reissuing events because they are still trying to figure out things um, for the new gameplay of Pokemon Cafe Mix, which is what we are going to talk about um, because that's what they are doing now in Japan. So I'm sure those of you who are still playing the game will probably notice new notifications here, especially this one. So it says, thank you for playing Pokemon Cafe Mix as we continue to focus on the major update and aspect of the game will be temporarily modified as outlined below. We appreciate your understanding. So, oh, okay. So this news is technically old. I mean, I did mention in the last gameplay. Huh, so where is the notification about... Oh, they removed it. Okay, so without that notification here to mention, <laughs> I'm going to show you two um, basically JPEG files that was presented on the official Pokemon Cafe Mix Japan Twitter. So as you can tell, these are the ideas they're trying to come up with um, for the future of the game itself. So they are adding in new kinds of maybe challenges that kind of unlock new accessories that you can have your Pokemon friends or rather your Pokemon staff in your cafe to don onto their outfits. So yes, we are getting new accessories, new costume designs that have customized colorization um, and of course, you can have missions um, to unlock such accessories as well. So it makes the game a bit more uh, appealing to play. You know, it gives you the enticement to want to play more, which is good. Uh, just hoping that it isn't exactly locked behind a money wall, <laughs> which most mobile games are. And I think uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix is technically kind of lacking that department, you know, sections of the games where they want to make players spend their money on the game so aside from buying acorns and you know exclusive costume designs like pikachu and eevee wearing um, an actual chef outfit that kind of stuff so they do actually give um a present from the operations team here so that's pretty nice of them. So this is what we're going to claim. 2,500 acorns and helping paws. Not that we use them in, in the Let's Play videos <laughs> because the game doesn't really require you to use such items. Maybe in the future when they've uh, implemented all these new changes, um, they really make you use all the items. So I do apologize if you can hear the sawing in the background of this audio because construction going around my neighborhood so I I'm, I'm recording this before the server refreshes and it just happens that these people are working at this time as well so yeah so what do you guys think of the upcoming update ideas for the game I mean it isn't exactly the full view of what they have planned in fact they did open up a beta server test uh, within Japan only sadly to say. So the Japanese players who are fans of the game and are still playing the game get to try firsthand of the new mechanics and ideas that the game developers are trying to implement into the game. Of course, it is not solid yet. After all, they did show images of, uh, you know, Piplup and um, what's the owl's name again? 
<laughs> I cannot remember. Oh god. And he was my favorite starter for Sword and Shield as well. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, yeah, it's been a while since I played Sword and Shield, so forgive me on this. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, technically these two Pokemon, uh, well, except Piplup. Um, Piplup isn't exactly new, and the Japanese text on the image does say that um, they're introducing new Pokemon, but Piplup isn't new, so, you know. So, there's a lot to be taken in with a grain of salt. Um, so, with all that mentioned, that's it. Let's dive into the actual gameplay for this time round's video. So, yeah, we're gonna try and um, feed Snorlax to power him up. Wow, it seems like we have a very active player in this group. That's great. So we're gonna help him out by doing 10 levels and of course the invitational party invites. So I'm gonna go with this because Buizel isn't maxed out at level 3 yet. So just don't want to take the chance of refreshing the Pokemon list and end up getting Pokemon that doesn't need to be maxed out. Alright, let's go into Lucario icons because there's just a lot of it and we do need, you know, a skill. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of Buizos, so let's go ahead and use that. Destroy the marshmallows and of course defrost some of the ice cubes. Right. There we go. Pretty good so far. Alright, powering up the Kyro skill. Let's destroy a majority of this stuff. Okay. Can we get the mixing stuff together? Oh, I missed out on all the marshmallows. It's kind of a bummer. Okay. Let's go with the Lucario icons. Go, we covered two marshmallows. Hmm. I do this? Yes. So we've got two more marshmallows covered. Alright, so we do need to bring the mixing items together. So that's gonna be a problem. Okay. There we go, we got it mixed. Now it's just left at tomato bottle. Alright, let's clear things up with a megaphone. <coughs> So not too problematic of a level, um, definitely could have ended with more moves available, but you know, as usual the saying goes, a clear is a clear. Alright, so let's go with Togepi for round 2. Ooh. Oh, there's vehicles passing by. This neighborhood is really noisy. <laughs> okay. Let's get the Piplups going. Alright, whipped creams. There's a lot of blossoms going around. So if I could, I would like to push all the bubblegum stuff together so we can just you know make use of a single skill to set the sugar cubes free. Alright, all the whipped creams are out. Can I destroy both of them together? Yes, I can! Okay, so the whipped creams are an issue. Now the only problem is that is one very loud car. <laughs> uh... Okay. Okay, I can clear the whipped creams here. Then I'll use the megaphone to clear the last one in the corner. So that's not too bad. So not too difficult of a level. You know, just gotta bring things together. The funny thing about this neighborhood is it's a neighborhood where not many um, well to do people are living. But somehow or other, <laughs> There's one particular um, person here who owns like three expensive vehicles. He's got like a, a Lambo 
a jaguar. <laughs> but he's living in an estate that is not well to do. You know, there's, there's just people who just spend all their money on vehicles, car fanatics, you know? Alright. So you know slightly more about me through the noises in my neighborhood. <laughs> uh, okay. So wow, we actually got Snorlax to level 3 or even 4. Oh, kudos to the person who's been playing a lot. Alright. Okay, level 4 it is. Alright, with that done, let's move on to the regular 10 stages. We need Munchlax to feed the big guy. Hopefully Munchlax doesn't eat all the food before it gets served to Snorlax. Make a combo next to a parchment paper two times or hit it with a skill to regen no to generate a Pokemon icon megaphone or skill. Alright, so most of the mechanics so far in the game are pretty much the same. It's just that there are some that have a bit more annoying mechanic. Um you know, where they regenerate and all stuff. Okay, let's get rid of the majority of the parchments. Okay, we've got a bit of Ordinos here. So let's go ahead and use that. Okay, punch legs. Go! Nicely done! Uh, technically, it's a tutorial level, so it's pretty easy. It gave us plenty of moves to settle this as well. So, okay, so we technically just need to destroy the strawberry box with a megaphone and we're done. Simple as that. Hey, we unlocked. Oh! And Meowth got to level 3. Fantastic. Sobble, my boy. You're ready for some lovely treats. So if you're wondering why Sobble is still around, because yes. Uh, the last event is technically Sobble's. So I had him in line. Uh, and yeah, the new event started, so... Good thing he still stays around. Let's get some eggs going. Do we really need to destroy parchment papers? Well, technically, it seems like eggs are a bigger factor of the mission completion. Oh no. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Meow's skill to get 9 eggs. Okay, let's defrost. Some of this stuff. Okay, let's see. We do need to activate some of the megaphones, so maybe let's do this. There we go. Okay, we do need score still, so that's a problem. Let's go ahead. Yep. And now, the megaphone. And we're done! Still a very easy level. Definitely could have ended earlier if I had some luck with uh, the megaphone appearances in front of the eggs. But you know, can't be too fussy. Just like Snorlax is, you know, we're just he's just eating whatever we are serving him. <laughs> That's the kind of customer you want. You know, they'll be happy with whatever you bring out to them. Oh no, they are pumpkins. Okay, so we need plusos. So let's get more plusos to have this skill activated. Alright, hopefully there's some useful stuff in the parchment paper. Alright, we did get um, power-up plus skill. So let's 
set free those pumpkins first. Okay. Hmm. If only we could... Yeah, let's push this here so we can fully utilize all the skills of Plusle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, let's get Waba Fett going for the score. Fantastic. Okay. Hmm. Let's get Plusle's skill going again. Let's try and duplicate what we did earlier. I don't want to... Oh, come on. I didn't want to evolve it. Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we could do this. Alright. So, let's gather all the pluses for the score. Then um, we just use his uh, skill to destroy the mega. I mean, the, maybe let's just use the megaphone. Don't want to go through the animation sequence. <laughs> You're the same time, you know. You guys don't want to watch too long of a video, right? All right. Things are moving along smoothly. Orbino is up next. Hmm, pickle jars. Okay, so there's a lot of squirtles going around. So let's just make use of the blue fella. Okay, let's destroy the pickle jars so we can get the tomatoes to drop in. There we go. Uh, let's gather some Ordinos for the skill. And of course, let's try and destroy more pickle jars. And now let's let the chaos reign. That wasn't really too good. <laughs> I mean, we did technically destroy two pickle jars, but you know, could have been better. Oh well. All right, let's get the Pikachu's, and let's get rid of the last two pickle jars. There we go. Okay, so. Let's try to get the tomato in. There we go, that's done. So all we have to do now is let Ordino's skill go crazy. Hopefully it hits the other two megaphones as well. Ah, oh, it's okay. We had more than enough. That is oddly satisfying. <laughs> I guess that's why they gave Ordino such a skill, because Ordino is such a happy Pokemon as well. Alright, moving along. Chino. Oh, I just remembered the owl's name. Rowlet. <laughs> oh god. Okay. At least my memory is not totally fading on me. Gotta set free those chocolate pieces. Hmm. It would be better if we can actually fully power up our Ordino skill. So let's go ahead and just destroy the pickle jars as much as we can. There we go. And now that we have the skill powered up, let's go for a three lane destruction. Okay, so I guess the chocolates really have to be manually destroyed because um, we want to try and save the skill for um, Nintinos to be used on chestnuts. Well, technically, okay, we have enough, so let's destroy the chestnuts, then we destroy the chocolates. So that's all we really need to do, and we are good. Pretty simple stage. As long as you don't abuse the skill for Minchino too early, you know, gotta plan your timing with the pickle jars. Ok, 
Okay, who is Nida? Togepi. Ooh. Okay, we gotta pay attention to the requirement for EV icons. So let's try not to go too crazy and using up EVs. So let's use the other Pokemon icons first while destroying all the marshmallows. Hmm. Okay, there's plenty of EV to go around. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I missed out on... Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's get Togepi first so we can get more EV icons. Alright, the basil leaf should be going in. Okay, let's try. Let's try to get EVs up here. Oh, we're getting blossoms. This is horrible. Okay, let's clear blossoms. So the next batch will be EVs. Need more EVs? There seems to be more Togepi's. It's kind of worrying. So let's clear all the other unnecessary icons. Oh, come on! I wanted Eevees. Oh, man. Okay, come on, Eevees. There we go. Let's just go ahead and clear them now. That's just really unfortunate. You could have, like I said, all the time. You could have ended earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So I'm hoping that like, the new gameplay design allows you to replay stages, you know, because considering that um, unlocking accessories in the future requires certain things to be done, like um, in the Japanese text they did say um, combo or you know megaphones use that kind of stuff. You know, it'd be nice to replay levels uh, aside from the invitational way, you know. Alright. Let's see what our fats. Let's try and clear the sugars manually if possible. So now toga piece, so let's go ahead and use it. Go. All the facts. Can we clear these sugar cubes? I got stuck, so the answer is no. Alright, let's summon a whole bunch of megaphones here. There we go. It's a lot of chaos. But it didn't really destroy a lot of stuff, so that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Sugar cube here is gonna be destroyed. Alright, so let's hopefully clear the last sugar cube with Wabafet skill. There it is. And we're done! Finally, a level that we actually ended much earlier than I wanted to. So. <laughs> Once in a while, good things come our way. Alright. Minor miss next. Hmm. Okay. Seems like we need to power up Minum's skill. At the meantime, we are trying to maybe destroy a majority of the pickles. And of course, try to get vegetable crates. Uh, pot. There we go. Alright, so just nice. The pickle jars are lighted up as well. Let's do this. And we have to wait another round. So meanwhile, let's get the score, the link requirement, and of course, let's clear the ve those veggies. Um, 
Yeah, I think we can do this first. Because after this turn, the pickles on the right will go shaded. So let's get a more another skill while trying to get veggies as well. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, so since we didn't get our skill, let's just go ahead and get the veggies. Now let's get the score. And next turn we can clear the pickle jars. So yeah, we cleared the level, but with no moves remaining, it's just pretty unfortunate. Okay, Snubble. You're needed. Hmm. This is gonna be a problem, um, considering that you know, the basil leaves can drop into the area that I do not want them to land. So, we're gonna try and um, Go. So once we've gotten the basil leaves into the area, that's it. Okay, so let's destroy the caramels and try and get the basil leaves. Okay, I don't know. Can we push this one in? Since like I'm making it a lot harder for myself. Alright, so let's push them in and let's clear the caramels. There we go. Simple as that. Is this all? No, it's not. Okay, we still need the score, so that's fine. Alright, that's it. Whew. Thought I might have to waste another move. That wasn't too bad. Could have gotten a lot worse. So just got to be careful with the placement of the basil leaves. Oh, Buizo is coming in for a friendship bonus, which is great for a raid event. Got to feed that Snorlax. Oh, it, it's the last level too! Oh wow, we're going to get that awesome times 2 bonus. Oh, times 3, sorry. And it's 2 stars. Fantastic. Let's, let's not mess this up. <laughs> this would be absolutely wonderful to see um, being added to Snorlax. Okay, let's get Munchlax going. Got the skill. Okay, we do need to technically push um, the mixing items over, so let's dig them out and push them across. Okay. Push them out. There we go. So once they're out, we can cause chaos. Could have been better. Oh well. Alright, seems like we can destroy some of the ketchup bottles normally. Okay. Where is the... Oh, they're so close to each other. Come on. Get mixed. There we go. So we need megaphones. Catch up bottle as well. Oh. There we go. Hopefully does this the trick. Do we have our 8,000 points? Yes, we do! That's it! Alright! Look at those stars being added. Ooh. All right.
right, guys, that's it for today. So thank you guys so much as always for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys are still enjoying the game like I am, let me know in the comment section down below or by hitting the like button if you guys are shy to talk. <laughs> and you know, if you guys you know are brave enough to let me know on the your your personal opinions on what's coming up for Pokemon Cafe Mix by the developers as seen in the images I've shown in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always guys, I'll see you guys in the next video right after you've clicked share and subscribe. As always, bye! Even Snorlax waving bye. <laughs>